question. I think stories are very powerful and very dangerous. Stories are the way that humans organize knowledge by and large, right? We don't tend to organize things into lists. We have these narratives that we call stories because from a young age, we learn things not just by hearing them and seeing them, but they are compartmentalized into narratives that have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Sometimes they have a uh, kind of a crescendo and then a relaxation. Just think about a childhood song of learning like the ABCs. They don't teach you the ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, right? They don't do that. What do they do? They give you a song, which is a story. Musicians will understand this inherently. Again, I'm not one, but when I started researching neuroscience of music and the brain, I came to understand, so it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? The change in the inflections as one does the alphabet as a young kid is the story of the alphabet. Now, people might say, okay, what, what is he talking about? What's happening here is you create variation in terms of batching of ideas so that something has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So if you think, okay, I grew up in this house and it was really messy and now I have too much mess. And in order to undo that, there's this kind of like hardwired, right? Dangerous words, hardwired neural circuitry in my brain that I would have to work really, really hard to undo and I'd have to be scared into being a cleaner person or, or a more tidier person, or what 